Alrighty guys, <laughs> how are you all today? In this episode, today what we're going to do is we're going to modify this outlet from the head for the coolant. We're going to cut off this piece here, we're going to weld on a little bit of aluminium, so we're going to do some aluminium welding. Hopefully, we're going to take a bit of scrap 3 inch aluminium, I'm going to cut this flush and we're going to make a coolant surge tank or a swirl pot. Another thing, this actually might be the last video on the old GoPro. I made a bit of a purchase, just for myself. It's going to be handy around the house and around family life as well. I bought myself a Canon G7X Mark II, so that will show you something in a little bit better detail and a bit more close up than this GoPro can do. As you can see, the original way it's laid out, it's going to be shooting towards the bulkhead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off make a 90 here, or come straight off of here and uh, make a coolant pot first things first, I've cut off this piece here, this is an outlet that used to go to the throttle body for coolant uh, I've just drilled it to 9mm, tapped it to M10, I'm going to screw this down as far as it goes sealed with a bit of Honda Bond and then cut it flush so the idea is obviously that is going to hit the firewall I'm going to weld this piece on here now, this stuff is the stuff I'm going to use for the coolant leads 32mm, which is smaller than I would normally use, um, but this Honda engines are supposed to be quite efficient at moving heat, so we'll stick with that. Look at this. So you can buy these from a guy I know for, I think it was £70 or £75. Uh, you clamp it in and basically you turn the handle and you roll yourself a nice bead. These guys were my original bead rollers, you used to clamp in them puncture that right the way around the pipe, however, you know, they're about 10 year old. So, I thought, you know what, I'll invest myself in getting this because I'm planning on doing a lot of pipes. And you guys know me, I, I don't like doing things by hand. Oh yeah. So, I've drilled a hole in the top, and then this stuff fits in there. Nice and through. It'll be a wee bit more flowing than the stock one as well because it has to come around and then disappear in that direction. Stick in there. And I would have got myself like a nice K tuned one or, or similar, but I don't have the money, so I would prefer to kind of make them uh, a lot cheaper and I find it fun. So, weld up the stock, uh, the stock sort of outlet now, and then I'm going to start. I did. Uh, make this piece here but I might save for that because I could really use the old piece really right guys looking back at it I wish I never used that cast piece because the welder on is hideous porous oh just the worst cast there uh, it was bringing everything through it was bubbling and fluttering and oh, all sorts but that's it on anyway um, I'll keep it about this distance in fact you know what I'm kind of hoping that you don't see all this dodginess going on in this new camera <laughs> <laughs> right guys, next thing I'm going to cut this off so it's flat and I'm going to start making a swirl pot. Um, the idea of the swirl pot is you have a, a coolant line coming on the inside at the top here and another one coming out the bottom and it swirls the coolant which lets the bubbles come through the top. Sort of like it self bleeds ish. Still need a, a, an external reservoir, you know, as an overspill, uh, but I'll probably just make one out of like a bottle of coke or something. Right here, so got the tube here cut out. Uh, I've welded that piece onto the top of that. I'm gonna weld that onto that, and then this it's not welded on yet, but I've just kind of pressed it in there nicely, and that'll go in the bottom. The next piece will be another piece of uh, pipe that will actually come at an angle, uh, and that'll be the tricky bit. So I'm basically going to weld on these sides. So I've got a bit of meat, so it won't crush it in the vise and de deform it, and and then I'll do a hole. Um, at the far end and see where it goes. Now we've uh, welded in a bottom piece. This is the sort of weld that I wish I could show you because uh, the lack of, I suppose, is it macro or focus? Uh, lack of focus on a GoPro. So uh, yeah, that one turned out alright actually, so hopefully the rest does. It's just a case of getting the welder set up. Well, as best as you can, it's still kind of alternating between 20 and 150 amps. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Right, so uh, that's that welder on now, the bottom piece. Uh, now I'm going to work on the top piece. And yeah. 
So far, it's actually turning no, no bad. Wish you could kind of see that again, but we'll we'll get that camera out at some point, and uh, we'll start playing, and then hopefully you can see the real mess that I'm making here. <laughs> there we have it. Top and bottom welder on now. Now we just need the piece in the side. Right, guys, I've drilled a big beastie hole in the side of it now. So what that does, and it's a weird shape, but it's designed to be that shape. It's so you can get the pipe in at an angle. And that pipe at an angle will hopefully swirl the, the coolant around the outside and down it to the inside, which will make the bubbles filter out. Sorted. So that will sit about there. So I'll make a little bracket across here now to bolt onto there. And that'll look quite nice, I think. It comes at the bottom and that'll run to the radiator. And the original uh, outlet from the thermostat. I'll go to the other side of the radiator. And there we go, fitted. So, happy enough with that. Next stage is try to see if we could fit a radiator and wonder how we're actually going to be able to fit it or where we're going to fit it. Maybe make up some mounts, cut some bits and bobs off and fit it to the car. So now I've kind of got the radiator mounted where I would like it to be. However, I've made little brackets at the top. I've still to make the brackets for the bottom. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the root in here. As this is a triple pass, it basically comes in the top, goes to the bottom, along to the middle, up another section, along the top, back down again. Awesome for cooling, but it can be a bit hard on the water pumps itself if they're a weak water pump. I'm thinking the best way to go would be come off the bottom of that swirl pot, along the inner rail here, inside, and then into this tank here. It'll all go through, it'll come at the top, I'm then thinking about coming off there, coming up, up in front of the radiator, and then along the top, a wee bend along the top, and to the bottom. However, another way I could do it is actually go at the bottom, up the back end, along and down to the back. That action might be better because it would be better for uh, burping the air out of the system, I think having that one lower. And all of that excitement, I forgot to do an outro. Well guys, today I've got the feet up. I'm away to go and make this movie with GoPro Studio because I've not got anything fancy. The wee ones are watching telly and playing with our toys. And thanks again for watching guys, <coughs> much appreciated and uh, we'll catch you in the next bit.